to say that the president, who had to deliver an A game tonight, started out slowly, but as the game ensued, did a little better. But is that going to move the needle, and is that going to change the swing in some of these swing states that has moved decidedly toward Governor Romney? Tom Belisis, who is backing the Romney-Ryan ticket, says that Wall Street increasingly is doing the same. With me now, what do you think? This was a great debate. There's no question about it. The president was much more assertive, but I would have to give the edge to Governor Romney. He laid out his five-point plan. It was descriptive. It was detailed. It was precise. You know, the president talks about he was been fighting, you know, for the American people for the last four years, but he hasn't been fighting enough. Unemployment's at record highs. We're losing jobs, not creating jobs. However they want to look at the jobs number, the unemployment rate, it's incorrect. The facts are the facts. The numbers don't lie. It was interesting that we kept going back to this Governor Romney. You know, he could talk a good game, he's a good speaker, I'm paraphrasing here, but when push comes to shove, it's his record. He, he talks a good game, but the record is we're looking at the same unemployment rate we were, and uh, job gains aren't keeping pace, uh, even with the population growth. So we're net, net, down, down. Uh, what do you think resonates to folks at home? I think everyone, you know, ultimately looks at America as a team. And right now, the team needs a new coach. And that's what the American people are looking for now. And I think tonight, any undecided voters that didn't know what direction to take are going to look to take Romney, obviously, as their vote come November 6th. And I believe that because I saw it today watching this debate very closely, watching how Governor Romney presented himself, how he described his plan versus what this president has said and done over the last four years. It's clearly evident that his plan has not worked, and it's time now for a new person to step up and be the coach of America. Do you think this is all about a momentum and in that case? that Mitt Romney and obviously the families mixing it up with the, the folks in the audience and those who participated in the debate, um, that, that he, he didn't get to knock it out tonight. He, he, by, by many measures, you could argue on just the facts, he was right. I did find it a little unusual for the moderator to interrupt Governor Romney and essentially misstate history, that uh, confusing what President Obama said uh, you know, we will avenge, uh, you know, acts of terror versus terrorist acts. The president really didn't clarify that right. this was a terrorist act in, in Libya for a good couple of weeks. Um, that was unusual. I didn't see her rushing to Governor Romney's defense. No, no, she wasn't. And On any issue. You know, we cannot deny that, you know, this president is in this home field advantage here in Long Island as a major Democratic stronghold, so to speak. So I think ultimately... We, we should stress NASA went 10 points for the president last time. That's uh, correct. And a couple of those people who call themselves uh, undecided voters, they, they <laughs> sound that way to me in That's their right. questions, but I'll, I'll accept it on face value. Um, where does this set things up then going into the next week for the next debate? I think, you know, there's a lot of high expectations going to the next debate, but ultimately I think any undecided voter out there that watched the debate tonight, that's going to watch the remaining, the last debate, is going to understand that the last four years have been extremely tough, gas prices very high, unemployment numbers are horrible. And what do you think on gas prices? So the president said, well, we were in the midst of a recession, and that's why they were so low. What is he going to say, Neil? He has to say something. He's going to have to backtrack and come up with a rebuttal to counter what, you know, Governor Romney is saying. Ultimately, the facts are the facts. Gas prices are $4 a gallon. And that's terrible, and that's not what America needs right now. We need lower gas prices, we need people to go back to work, and we need entrepreneurs out there to get out there and take the risk that they've taken to get America to where it is here today. Tom, thank you very much, Tom Belisis. Played in the Wall Street movie sequel. Is there going to be a Wall Street 3? We'll see. We'll see. It depends on how Wall Street's doing. Absolutely. Um, all right, I, I do want to take, if we could take Benny, or were they to get a grander shot of this room to see what's going on?